Hello friends, welcome back to India for IAS. This is Manjunath Mudhur. In this video, we are going to study about artificial rain. This topic falls under GS1 paper, Geography. So within Geography, it falls under Climatology. Climatology. And also this topic falls under GS3 paper. In GS3 paper, it falls under Environmental environment and ecology so ee topic glimps mathu mains perspective thumba important agirutade glimps and mains this topic is also important with respect to upsc prelims and as prelims upcoming as prelims So recent आगे artificial rain news अली रहते हैं, याव विशे के news अली रहते हैं रहे, Delhi government is reconsidering the use of cloud seeding to create artificial rain and to tackle air pollution during winter. So नमगे ला गोत्ति रो हागे, winter season अली ना रहते हैं रहे, Delhi नली severe air pollution से रहते हैं, severe air pollution. So ये air pollution ना खड़िमे माड़ दुख पोस करा, Delhi government ये माड़ती दें रहते हैं so it is finding a way in creating artificial rain so this artificial rain it can tackle the air pollution so what happens in winter in winter there is a stability in atmosphere there is a stability in the atmosphere so this stability it doesn't create it doesn't allow the pollutants to escape to the upper horizons of the atmosphere so because of that what happens whatever the vehicle exhaust and industrial exhaust is there it collects at the ground level so ground level collect since the atmosphere is in stable nature there is no formation of clouds and all so the pollutants are stagnated towards the ground level so this causes the severe air pollution during winter season in delhi so in order to overcome this air pollution the government is considering creating the artificial cloud seeding techniques and uh, artificial rain. So because of this artificial rain, what is going to happen? Whatever the dust particles is there, pollution is there, it will be carried away with the help of the artificial rain. So if not 100%, partly at least around 30 to 40%, it may reduce the air pollution. That is what planned. So now we will briefly look into what is artificial rain is exactly how artificial rain is being created. So artificial rain and rain. So artificial rain is commonly referred to as cloud seeding. It is a weather modification technique that aims to enhance the precipitation from the clouds. So cloud seeding mukantra, weather modification model. So, this weather modification model rainfall, precipitation in the form of rainfall, it will increase. So, that is the meaning of the artificial rain. So, how this has been done? So, here we have given the schematic representation of the artificial rain. So, the first step is silver iodide, it is being used as the cloud seeding material. This silver iodide, it is released by the plane or a ground based generator. So, here it is a ground based generator and here it is a plane either using ground ground based generator or plane the silver iodide it has been released so this silver iodide particles reach the targeted cloud so reach, they reach the targeted cloud then they aids in the formation of ice crystals these silver iodide particles so these silver iodide particles they help in the formation of ice crystals so the ice crystals they enlarge in the size they become too heavy to stay at the upper layers of the atmosphere then they start to fall to the ground as a rainfall so here we can see the rainfall so this is how the cloud seeding mechanism works so coming to the techniques of cloud seeding cloud seeding techniques not other there are two major techniques one is hygroscopic seeding technique the second one is glaciogenic seeding technique so hygroscopic seeding technique na nodo gadre so ee technical yen madlagutte andre sodium chloride sodium chloride 
or calcium chloride CaCl2 so e sodium chloride and calcium chloride, chloride salts na clouds alli disperse madalagutte then these salts these both salts they attract the water vapor leading to the formation of larger water droplets that can fall as the rain so yavaga sodium chloride matte calcium chloride salts na spray madalagutte these salts they attract the water so then they grow in size in this way they will form the clouds then these clouds they cause the precipitation in a glaciogenic seeding technique na nododadre ee technique alli silver iodide silver iodide or dry ice dry ice na use madalagutte so silver iodide matte dry ice na super cooled clouds alli disperse madalagutte super cooled super cooled clouds alli disperse madalagutte so these stub, these substances that is silver iodide and dry ice they encourage the formation of ice crystals they encourage the formation of ice crystals so these ice crystals they grow in size and they eventually fall either as snow or as rainfall so this is how the glaciogenic seeding technique works so these are the major techniques of the cloud seeding so methods of cloud seeding na nododadre athwa methods of dispersal salts dispersal athwa silver iodide dispersal na nododadre there are three methods one is by aircraft method second one is ground based generators third one is rocket launchers so aircraft yav tara use martare andre either fixed wing aircraft or helicopters or used to release the cloud seeding agent directly into the clouds in the ground based generator so ground based generator en madutte andre they will release the seeding agents directly into the air currents so these air currents they will carry the seeding agents to the clouds so this is how ground based generator works then the rocket launchers in the rocket launchers rockets are used to disperse seeding materials at higher altitudes at the higher altitudes now we will look into the applications of artificial rain so artificial rain create madodrinda enella applications ide anta nododadre so worldwide it is majorly used for drought mitigation so drought prone area dalli en martare antandre cloud seeding martare cloud seeding maadi artificial rain na create martare ee artificial rain inda enagutte andre water bodies fill agutte irrigation sige rain for rain water sigutte then there is a water availability for agriculture and other activities so this is one of the major application of cloud seeding or artificial rain the second major application is agricultural benefits by increasing the rainfall in targeted areas so rainfall na increase madodar mukantra targeted areas alli cloud seeding can improve the crop yields so crop yields na increase madabodu so this will prevent the crop failure so crop fail agodanna stop madabodu so this is the second major application of the artificial rain then the third one is water resource management so water resource management alli en madalagutte so regions with limited water so yav area dalli limited water availability irutte so aa regions alli cloud seeding madodar mukantra artificial rain na create maadi alli water availability na increase madalagutte water availability will increase so that is the fourth uh, third major application of the artificial rain then fourth major application is hail suppression so during thunderstorms thunderstorm agbekadre enagutte there is heavy chances of formation of hails so these hails they affect they destroy the crops they destroy the standing crops so because of this adverse effect of the hails the cloud seeding technique is used to reduce the formation of the hails then the fifth application is snowfall enhancement so in mountainous regions cloud seeding is used to increase the snowfall this snowfall it is crucial for winter tourism winter tourism in mountainous regions if there is no snowfall 
the in the mountainous regions during winter then the tourist will not visit so in order to enhance the snowfall so the cloud seeding is used so these are the major applications of the artificial rain or cloud seeding technique now we will look into the challenges or controversies associated with cloud seeding technique so the first one is effectiveness of the cloud seeding in introducing or in creating artificial rain and in addressing the water shortage issues so its effectiveness is very less compared to the natural rainfall so there are hardly major success met with the cloud seeding then the second concern is environmental concerns the long term environmental impact of uh, dispersing chemicals like silver iodide into the atmosphere is not fully understood so in cloud seeding what we are doing we are dispersing silver iodide so we don't know in the long term what is going to happen so what are what are the adverse effects of silver added on environmental uh, ecosystems or on water bodies so we don't know exactly about that so that is there then the third concern is ethical issues cloud seeding can raise the ethical concerns that is especially when used in one region at the expense of another for example so by using cloud seeding we are creating rainfall in one region so the clouds that are supposed to move and cause rainfall in another region say this is region b so instead of creating rainfall in region b because of cloud seeding rainfall is being created in region a so because of this there is no rainfall in the region b this creates an ethical issue that is region a is getting rainfall because of cloud seeding at the expense of the region b then the fourth is cost wise cost wise cloud seeding is very expensive it requires lost of infrastructure and uh, technology so in general it is an expensive project so these are the challenges and controversies associated with cloud seeding coming to the india's cloud seeding initiatives india the yav rithi cloud seeding initiatives marte daranthe nodadare there are state level projects with respect to cloud seeding example states like maharashtra karnataka and andhra pradesh they are venturing into cloud seeding in drought affected areas in order to induce rainfall to reduce the crop failure and to provide the water resource to the drought affected areas then at the national level the government of india is considering the cloud seeding technique in order to address the erratic rainfall because of the monsoon so recent cloud seeding projects na nododadre project varshadhari project varshadhari it is a cloud seeding project undertaken by government of karnataka so which aim to increase the rainfall in drought prone areas or drought prone districts in karnataka so this is all about cloud seeding or creating artificial rain its mechanism the techniques used in cloud seeding the chemicals used in the cloud seeding applications of cloud seeding or artificial rain and the challenges and criticisms associated with cloud seeding and the government of india and the state level projects so based on the topic that we have discussed so far that is artificial rain or cloud seeding here we have provided one clean practice question this contains three statement go through all the three statements and comment your answer the answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the pdf handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel the link to join our telegram channel is provided in the description box the pdf also contains the detailed notes of this video which you can download by joining our telegram channel thank you for watching see you in the next video till then happy learning